Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to tell the difference between a modern t-shirt and a vintage t-shirt. Now, just a quick disclaimer, I am not an expert by any means in vintage clothing, but I do know enough to be pretty lethal in the game um, when I am out there at the thrift store. So I wanna share this knowledge with you guys and talk about tags and stitching and um, dates and everything like that. So I have quite a few examples here. I'm gonna be going through and kind of just give you guys very specific um, information about each piece and all that good stuff. So make sure you guys like the video, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it. So with vintage clothing, there's so many different variants out there. Uh, it could be hard to kind of identify what is vintage and what's not vintage. Um, so let's get into the first item. And this is going to be a modern piece. And this is a misfit shirt. Now, this one is modern. And how I know that is because it is on a screen print tag. So this screen printing started, I think, in like the early 2000s. Um, I think Hanes, the brand Hanes, was one of the first brands to start doing it. Um, they started screen printing on the, t um, you know, for the tags instead of the paper tags. Um, and so this is kind of when screen printing started from the early 2000s and they still do it today. Um, so you can still find some shirts with screen prints on it like this that can be worth some pretty good money. Maybe early 2000s shirts that have screen prints on it. Um, so what you're doing is you're always looking for dates. Sometimes when the screen print ones, a lot of them will be inside the tag. Most of them will be modern. But um, yeah, like I said, this is a modern misfit shirt. Um, so that's an example of a modern. Now this is an example of a vintage t-shirt. And what you're looking for for vintage t-shirts is you're gonna look at the tag first and you, you're gonna be looking for made in USA, uh, made in Mexico. Um, but if you see made in USA, it's a really good indicator that it can be vintage. And other signs that you're looking for are the tags as well. Um, you know, that's something that you're gonna have to just kind of learn on your own because there's so many different variants of tags, 80s, 90s tags, early 2000s. That's just something you just gotta research. You can literally um, type in, you know, say screen stars, Hanes, um, tags, you know, throughout the decades. Um, throughout the you know in the 90s 2000s and it'll just show a list of tags um, so you can kind of get an idea of what era that tag is from in that shirt if you need if there's like no dating or anything like that on it but anyways this shirt right here so first you look at the tag and then you're looking at the stitching so this is a single stitch oh no this is a double stitch t-shirt so um, this one is double stitch um, so it doesn't necessarily mean it's not vintage because then you look here and then it does have a date of um, I think 1996 right there. So you're looking for dates. It's usually on the bottom of the print. Um, could be in or under the, like underneath the tag. Like on a lot of like wrestling shirts, you can see the dates on like the tag underneath. But usually they're under the print or like on the side or something like that. So you're looking for stitching, made in USA, the tags, and then looking for dates. So here's another example. Um, you can see here's another vintage tag, good one to look for, made in USA. And this one right here is single stitch. So you can see single stitch means there's only one stitching. So this one's vintage and then this one is vintage as well, the one I just showed. But you see how this one is double stitch. There's two stitchings, not just one. So when you hear single stitch, it's just one sit stitch um, on the sleeve. And then sometimes like on the bottom of the shirt, it could be double stitch. Um, but I think this one is single stitch. So sometimes you'll have single stitch on the sleeves and you'll have double stitch on the bottom or you'll have times where it's, you know, uh, single, single stitch on the top and single stitch on the bottom. So that's kind of like the difference there. And then here's a like WWE shirt. I want to talk about as well so this one right here um, a good indicator like a lot of times like the licensing like on the early 2000s ones there's none really on the prints i'm sure there is some but what i always look for is underneath the tag usually there's a date somewhere right here see this one says 2002 so this one is considered vintage any with clothing specifically um in the vintage community they consider 20 years and up can they consider that vintage so 2002 and lower is considered vintage. Um, and then, yeah, so that's with clothing guys. If we're talking about like art or like, um, 
you know, swords or something like that. We're talking probably hundreds or thousands of years it's considered vintage, but with clothing, it's considered uh, 20 years is considered vintage. So yeah, guys, so with the wrestling shirts, you know, obviously check for all the dates and stuff like that. The more older 90s ones will probably, there'll be a lot of dates on, but these ones, um, check inside the tag underneath and should be a date. So now I'm on a couple more pieces. I'm gonna share, you guys know I love Nike. Um, so I'm gonna share some uh, newer, modern, some earlier 2000s Nike, and then some vintage 90s Nike. So, so you guys can get an idea of the tags and uh, all that stuff. So here's a modern Nike. So this is a modern Nike tag. Um, I would say probably 2015, you know, uh, 2017, 18 era, somewhere around there. And this one would be considered early 2000s, like Y2K. So anywhere from 2000 to 2009 is considered early 2000s. So that's a good keyword. You can put Y2K and then 2000s um, vintage. And this, this tag right here is like blue tag. So this would be a Y2K Nike sweater. Um, so a little more valuable than like a modern one. Just a little bit. Now this one, you see this tag here. This is a Made in USA um, white Nike tag. So this one is from the 90s. So this one's going to demand um, a premium, a good amount of money. Probably at least $40 to $50 on eBay. And... Uh, yeah, and it doesn't matter with vintage, like if it's faded, some stuff, if it has a little bit of staining, some marks, sometimes it's still worth picking up most of the time because it is vintage. And some people like that look if it's a little distressed. So you can see that one said made in USA. Um, this one, the Y2K one, um, this one is made in China. So like, you you know, made in China, made in Pakistan, Honduras. Um, that's usually what you'll see, like this one right here is uh yeah see this one is pakistan so those are more modern you know 2000s whatever but anyways so that's pretty much a little bit a little rundown there's so much to go through guys um so i believe they stopped um doing like made in usa and started doing like more like overseas like china honduras el salvador and stuff like that vietnam because the production was just a lot cheaper to you know manufacture their goods in different countries because in Made in USA, it just got too expensive or just to lower their cost, you know, and as a business, you want to try and lower your cost as much as possible. So say Nike, for example, they were doing Made in USA, um, all their products, and then they wanted to lower their costs. So they did everything like overseas now, um, like Made in China, Pakistan, all that stuff. So that's pretty much why they did it. The quality is not as good. So if you get like a made in USA item compared to like this one that's made in China, this one's gonna last a lot longer. I bought a lot of modern, I, I buy a lot of modern, you know, Nike shirts, shorts and sweaters. And I gotta tell you the older stuff is way better, just better quality um, and yeah. So just another quick one. This is a quick, quick tip I'm gonna give you guys with Nike shoes. Like if you wanna tell if they're older, like these ones right here are modern. Um, you can tell like all Nike shoes in the tag, you can you can see the year. You're probably not gonna be able to see, but just look inside your Nike shoes if you have some at home or if you see them at the thrift, there'll be a date. These ones are 2019. And like these dunks right here, if you could find older dunks, like Nike dunks, um, some of these can go for really good money. Um, these ones, you're not gonna be able to see, but inside the tag here, these ones are from 2012. So that's a good way to indicate like you know, it's just good keywords you can put in your title, you know, Nike dunks from 2012, whatever. And people like these older dunks like this and they last forever. So yeah, guys, hope you guys got some kind of value out of this video. I really appreciate you sticking around all the way to the end of the video. If you did, uh, please like the video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Peace out.